Let's move on to recreational cannabis here in our state as lawmakers are still working on regulating it. A local cannabis company is looking at creative ways to not only grow those plants, but to help feed the community. Yeah, and so I went to Everest Cannabis Co's farm to give you a look at how they're making a difference one plant at a time. Just take a look at this. Pounds and pounds of produce, all donated to Food is Free, a local nonprofit that harvests food, then distributes it to the community. Everybody deserves access to fresh food. And there's an abundance of fresh food just growing all over our community. Now that food, we have this purple basil over here, is thriving alongside about three quarters of an acre of cannabis growing at this farm. Oh, you're looking at around 800 cannabis plants? We planted radishes. And daikon radishes are a very popular thing to grow here in Albuquerque. Annie Tuffler is the outdoor grow manager at Everest Cannabis Co. She's also a volunteer and lead harvester with Food is Free. I love plants. I love seeing the progress every day. Now she's seeing the literal fruits of her labor support the cannabis she's growing while also feeding her community. And over time, you can see every decision you make actually take physical shape and I love that. We got a really good one right here. Plants like radishes and pumpkins help with the soil. For example, these are really large pumpkin leaves which help provide shade on top of that soil, which means they don't have to water it as much, which is really important in a desert when it comes to water conservation. And it also helps with uh, increasing the diversity okay. of microorganisms in the soil, which also have a beneficial relationship with the plants. The process is called companion planting or sister cropping. This is a big, beautiful radish. People are going to ask, does the cannabis impact the food that's growing next to it? No, it's not flowering yet. After all, THC is found around the flower. These plants haven't bloomed. Plus, cannabis needs to be processed in certain ways for that THC to be present. We're using the soil and the resources to grow food to support the community. Being as conservative as possible with our resources. Over the past month, Everest Cannabis Co. has collected and donated about 200 pounds of produce while partnering with Food is Free. Fresh food is a human right, and we want to make sure that we are providing everyone with access to that. Yeah, this whole project just seemed so interesting, especially because I don't have a green thumb. I can't grow anything. Me neither. Things, oh, yeah. No. <laughs>